What if I told you the world you're seeing right now isn't real? Or at least it's just a very convincing story your brain is telling you. That every sight, every sound is just its best guess based on fuzzy, incomplete data. See, our minds aren't passive cameras just recording what's out there. They're active architects building your reality from scratch. There's a fascinating concept in neuroscience called predictive processing. The basic idea is that your brain is constantly running a simulation of the world based on everything you've ever experienced. Then it uses the signals from your eyes and ears to spot check its work and make corrections. This means what you experience as reality is actually a kind of controlled hallucination. And while this simulation is incredibly useful, it's not perfect. It has glitches. These glitches are cognitive biases, mental shortcuts that can seriously warp your perception of what's real. So today, we're gonna pull back the curtain on five of these brain tricks that prove you're not seeing the world. You're constructing it. First up, we have the anchoring effect. This is our brain's tendency to latch on to the very first piece of information it gets and refuse to let go. Once that anchor is dropped, every other judgment gets stuck right there with it. Think about negotiating a salary. An employer throws out a first offer of $50,000. That number is now the anchor. Even if you were planning to ask for $70,000, your brain is now mentally chained to that first number. Every counteroffer feels like a big leap from 50K, not a small step down from 70. You might end up thrilled to get $55,000, even though it's way less than you're worth. Why? <sighs> because your brain wasn't calculating your objective value. It was just adjusting from a totally arbitrary starting line. Next is the framing effect, which shows that how you say something is often more important than what you're saying. The same facts presented differently can create two totally different realities. Picture this, you're at the grocery store choosing yogurt. One container says 20% fat. The one next to it says 80% fat-free. Which one feels healthier? Most of us immediately reach for 80% fat-free, even though they are mathematically identical. <laughs> the fat-free frame feels positive and healthy, while the 20% fat frame feels negative. The yogurt is the same, but your brain's perception of it, your reality of its healthiness, was completely flipped by a couple of words. Ever felt a spike of fear about a shark attack while splashing in the ocean? That's the availability bias in action. This is our brain's habit of thinking that things that are easy to remember are more likely to happen. And what's easiest to remember? The dramatic, vivid, and scary stuff. The news and movies are jam-packed with terrifying plane crashes and shark attacks, making those images highly available in your mind. Because of this, we end up fearing these incredibly rare events far more than the things that are statistically way more likely to harm us, like a simple car accident. Your brain is confusing how easily you can recall something with how often it actually happens, creating a personal reality where you're constantly misjudging risk. <laughs> this next one is a doozy. It's called the belief bias, and it's our tendency to decide if an argument is strong, not based on its logic, but on whether we agree with the conclusion. If the conclusion feels right, and matches what you already believe, your brain will accept almost any nonsense argument that gets it there. This is exactly why political debates can feel so impossible. If you're convinced a certain policy is a disaster, you're more likely to accept any argument against it as pure genius, without ever stopping to check the facts. Your brain isn't looking for the objective truth. It's looking for comfort, for things that reinforce its existing model of the world. This bias turns your mind into a personal echo chamber bending reality to fit what you expect to see. Finally, we have a bias that sounds good on the surface, but has a surprisingly dark side, the just world hypothesis. This is the cognitive shortcut that makes us want to believe the world is fair and that people get what they deserve. But here's the problem. When we hear about something terrible happening to someone else, our brain scrambles to make sense of it. The randomness is terrifying. To feel safe and restore a sense of order we might unconsciously start blaming the victim. You hear thoughts like, well, they shouldn't have been walking in that neighborhood, or they must have done something to deserve it. It's a cruel trick our brain plays to shield us from a chilling reality that the world isn't always fair. 
And sometimes, bad things just happen to good people. From the price you'll pay for a coffee, to your fundamental sense of justice, these biases prove we aren't just passive observers of the world. We are the active creators of our own experience. Our brains are built for survival, not for truth. So they run on efficient shortcuts and useful stories. We don't experience reality directly. We experience our brain's story about reality, a personalized simulation full of glitches, edits, and a lifetime of programming. So the next time you feel absolutely certain about something, take a second and ask, am I really seeing reality? Or am I just believing a very, very convincing story? If this video made you question your own reality, hit that like button and subscribe for more brain-bending content. And drop a comment below. Which of these cognitive biases do you see the most in your own life? Thanks for watching.